So on Wednesday, we broke the story of a lady who was stabbed by armed robbers. This, was re this has really generated a lot of controversies because report has it that the hospital she was taken to rejected her because she cannot pr produce a police report. However, the hospital has since refuted the statement. We're still woman anyway. That her voice will not be silent. Make sure your voice is not silent. The Almighty. We've been able to reach the medical director of our Jala, Dr. Ladipo. I would like to give you a few minutes, sir, to tell us exactly your own version of what happened that night. Well, that day was brought to our facility at about 7 19 p.m. on Monday, the 2nd of December 2019. She was a victim of armed robbery with a fatal, fatal penetrating stab wound to the root of the neck. One who is not medically, or who is not a medical person, would not understand why the seeming non-extensive injury like this could not be managed by our setup. She was attended to by the doctor on duty, who sought the attention of another colleague because there was a need to make an urgent, critical decision. The ultimate decision was for her to be referred to sexual institution. At no time, any of her staff demanded for police report before attending to Murad Muradion. This is a tragic loss. It's unfortunate. But the nature of the injury is very fatal. In that situation that you described, where there was an injury to the neck, that um, we could have actually had a pressure to stop the bleeding, applied occlusive dressing and wear a neck brace to immobilize the spine before taking her to General Hospital. Is that correct? Could that have been done? Uh, with uh, due respect to the doctor who said it, I want to affirm that at the time Muradion came to the hospital and examined, all this that the doctor said would not apply. This is a deep penetrating injury. You don't put pressure on the superficial. How about the major vessels that have been severed in internally and the bleeding is, is internal? And it wasn't as if Uradeon was knocked with a blunt ob object on the neck. She was stabbed. She was crying out for help. They saw her. And at the time they saw her, a man was coming with his, with, with his colleagues from work and he stopped by to pick her up with another person, and there were three that took her to the hospital. At the time they got to the hospital, this was about 7.17 there about, they brought her, they, 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 the first guy ran inside and started screaming, help, 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 calling the people in the hospital to come out, the doctors to come out, to come and attend to her. We would like to know that the doctors did not take Moradeo into the hospital. Mm. So my question is, how did they then check the condition of, that, that she had? She wasn't allowed to enter into the hospital. It was dark. Was it touch light that you used to check the condition? That's one question that we need to ask ourselves. Was it touch light that we used to, to, to find out? When the guy got in there, she still had strength. She was still crying for help. She was still shouting, please help me, please help me. She still had enough strength to even give the man uh, the, the, the people who helped her, the number of her father and her mother, mm. please call my father, please call my fiancé. And she was screaming out for help. We have this account, we have this recording from these people, and they, 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 even they themselves cannot even imagine that this has happened to this girl. After they, they screamed for, for help, the hospital doctors whatsoever came outside, and when they came outside, after many shouting and all that, looked at her and said, that they can't do anything, they should take her to General Hospital. Mm. And they said, can you just do something? Just put first aid or just do something. And they said there's nothing they can do. First of all, we don't want to castigate this hospital since they did what they were meant to do. But the question, next question would be, um, was that the best, was that truly the best way to have handled it? There was really nothing that he could have done mm, for her mm. at that point. I mean, he saw the extent of the wounds. Mm. Did, was, he, was he certain or did mm. they know that moving her from their hospital to that place would have helped her at the time? For me, it's also your word against my word. So the doctor is giving an account of what he thinks happened and people who were 
supposedly eyewitnesses are saying that this is like exactly what happened. So who do we believe in this case? Yeah. Because even if they had done wrong or they have even requested for the police report, right. the doctor won't come out here to say exactly that right. because he needs to protect his organization. I think it's also important that the, the we are enlightened about yes. this police report. Yes. Stop, they, they need to stop it. They need to stop it. The hospitals know why they do it. Mm -hmm. And they know maybe they have been held culpable for uh, on many occasions. Yes. So if the police have said that there is no need for police report, let them let us know. Let them let us know properly. Don't just say eh, there is not in the law. It is, everybody thinks it is in the law. Mm. I only pray that her soul rests in peace and we can find some kind of way to bear this loss as a nation.